quiet, please. Very quiet. I'm gonna get the crowd in the show. Let me just see one. Yeah, no, give me one. Basketball, watch his reaction to the tennis ball. Okay, do, you that see that? do that again. Hey, buddy, is such a motivated basketball player that clearly this is his most favorite sport. Now, you watched him catch about 50 pitches here. Now, watch his reaction to the baseball while I'm holding the basketball. You see, he has absolutely no interest. The basketball just commands all of his respect here. So what I want to do is show you exactly how he shoots baskets. Now, if you can cut for just a second, unfortunately, I just have to put a little rotation on the ball. Wait till I cut a little bit. Darren, you can put the mic in a bit closer. Closer? Closer? Okay, we're rolling. Very quiet. One second, man. Okay, we're rolling. Okay. Uh, basketball is probably what has put Buddy on the map. He has over 20,000 career baskets, and it was. Uh, basketball that got our first publicity probably about six years ago on uh, the David Letterman show. Um, from there, we, we traveled in towards the NBA and have done variety shows and talk shows. Buddy has been Comet on the show Full House. But clearly it's basketball that has established his mark as, as fame. Um, what we usually do is we operate with a basketball that's fairly lightweight. It's not pumped up all the way, and that's just a safety tip for the people that are watching at home. You never want to use a real hard basketball because, quite honestly, it won't work. It needs to be a little soft, so when you give it a pass at the dog... Here, oh. hey. Sorry, I'll try that again. <laughs> okay. Now, it's very important that it's not pumped up all the way. Important that it's not pumped up all the way because, quite honestly, what the dog is doing, he's trying to catch it like he would the tennis ball, but his teeth won't fit around it. So with a very light pass, you can see he literally is just trying to bite at it, and it's popping out of his mouth. Now, we put a little olive oil on the ball because in the beginning, it was Buddy's saliva that actually coated it, and this sort of cuts to the chase a bit. Sit, sit. But what he is actually doing is biting at it as well as jumping at the same time. That is what gives it elevation. Set, ready? Oh! Here, pass it here. Okay, here, can try you just pass them one to Buddy. Oh, I want to stay put. Come here, boy. Come here. Sit, sit. Okay, wait. Sit. I want to get a nice shot here. See, oh, hold on. He just cut his lip for a second. Did he? One second. Okay, you cut it. Um, no, I'll stay. Oh. Yeah, I just nipped his tongue. That happens so seldomly, but okay, well, we, occasionally. We see it from this angle. Okay, uh, yeah, so Buddy uh, literally. Uh, knows what his target is. I think that's what's so incredible is when he's shooting at it, he actually knows exactly where the basket is. That's what makes it so remarkable. And we're excited to be here, um, obviously, with Keystone Entertainment. Uh, finally, it took six years to get to the big screen, but it's like anything in life. If you feel 
you're bigger than life and you can't dodge the inevitable that one day it will happen. You just can't give up. So Buddy takes a lot of time preaching to kids about not giving up and it's very important. Slip one. Ready, get one. Pull. Sit. 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 Get one. Pull. <laughs> Down, lay down. Come on, drop, drop, drop. And you can see the concentration as you look at his eyes there. <laughs> anyway, uh, we usually don't like to end the day by him winning the trophy, but if that's what it takes. Um, but you know, the, 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 probably the most interesting aspect is Buddy has such a good time doing what he does. And it just goes to show that, you know, whatever it is you're trying to accomplish is not impossible as long as you set your mind to it. We're just happy that Buddy is having his chance to make uh, um, his uh, contribution and encourage other people to get involved in fun activities with their dogs. Because, you know, you never know how far it'll go. Hey, hey, hey. Ah. Very serious about a sport. Good boy. Good boy. Well, that's about as far as we take it. We usually don't let him chew on the ball. Good boy. Hi. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, how did you how did you and Buddy meet? Well, Buddy was actually a stray in the uh, wilds of Northern California. Uh, it was about seven years ago, and he crawled out of the forest, car carrying, uh, excuse me, carrying a pine cone in his mouth. And uh, we met really just very nonchalantly. It was, uh, it was very unexpectedly. Uh, we see a lot of dogs through that area since we have a cabin in that area and have since uh, about 1950. But it seemed unusual. This. So what did you do with him? I mean, you, you found this dog with a, with a, with a, with a, with a thing in his mouth. And then yeah, you know, he, uh, he brought a pine cone up and sort of set it at my feet as to, to say, throw it and I'll fetch. And I thought it was interesting. We see a lot of dogs over the course of the years. His condition didn't look to be very good, so I got him some water right away. Uh, and then after a two-week vacation without um, anyone claiming ownership or finding an owner in his condition, I decided to keep him as a pet. So it was surely for the necessity to bring him back into shape, and we did that through exercise that all this started. And then, and then how did it proceed? Well, we, we did start with just a game of playing fetch. Any retriever would love to play fetch. But uh, as Buddy showed more interest than others, we began developing his catching technique. And I thought that was really kind of fun in the beginning. But it was clearly when I put the hoop up uh, that his magic really came into play. Um, it took nearly six months and about 4,000 attempts before he sank his first basket. But clearly basketball is what put him on the map. Now, how did he go to the David Letterman show? Can you tell us about that? Well, once, once I trained him to... Sorry. Oh, that's fine. Stop when you get bad boys problems? Or? Yep. Okay, and now, the, how did we get on to David Yeah, well, once we trained Buddy to sink baskets consistently, we sent an amateur video into a show called America's Funniest Home Videos. Uh, but that very same tape, we sent a copy to the stupid Petrix producer of David Letterman. And they saw it right away, gave me a call about two weeks later. Now, David Letterman does not actually see the trick. The producers book it, audition you. So when you actually make the show, Letterman sees it live for the first time. His reaction is very spontaneous. We were very fortunate on the show because Buddy sank the second basket, took Letterman by surprise. The crowd went crazy. Uh, Letterman brought Buddy back for an encore. And I think it was at that point, really, that I knew that Buddy had something special. It wasn't just something that would go by the wayside. It was clearly a raw form of talent. And he's, I mean, he's got a huge resume now. I mean, we're, we're yes, his resume, about six years long, has over 150 major appearances. Uh, the Letterman Show, we've been on a total of three times. In fact, Buddy's the only guest to be brought back as a regular guest. But we do everything from NBA halftime, NHL, and NFL halftime. We do variety shows, talk shows. Could we... Uh, NFL, NBA, can you play basketball, hockey? Oh, certainly. Um, well, in addition to David Letterman, we also appear on uh, NBA, which would be professional basketball halftime appearances, also professional hockey league halftime, and professional football. Uh, Buddy is a five-sport animal, so he can play around the calendar. Uh, it's really very exciting because we don't have just one form of... Um, actually, let me start over there, if you don't mind. Excuse me. Yeah, that's like a bit of truck. Mm. 
You ready? What's neat about Buddy is that he is not isolated to just one form of entertainment. He can do talk shows, professional sporting events, uh, sitcoms, and of course what brings us here today would be uh, starring in a feature film. Uh, very, very excited about that. And uh, now you also have an exercise video, is that, is that, is that, do I have that right? Yes, well you know in all of my work um, around the country doing appearances I also spent three years working for uh, a dog food company and we spent a lot of time on the road encouraging people to get involved in responsible pet ownership. Uh, they considered Buddy to be a classic example of what you can achieve if you have the time to spend with your animal. So in the five sports we've developed I actually produced an instructional video that encourages people to uh, take a game of playing fetch which is a very common form of exercise and expand that into the five probably most popular sports uh, in the world at that matter soccer, baseball, hockey, football and basketball. How old is he and how long can he do that? Well, Buddy is eight years old. Um, I would say the life expectancy of a retriever of his size is anywhere from 12 to 14, but I think it really clearly depends on his conditioning. Now, Buddy is in tip-top shape. I clearly see Buddy having another at least four to five good physical years left. Out of all the sports he plays, basketball clearly is the most physically demanding. So when it comes to feature films and perhaps sequels, basketball is the one you want to do first, so in case the dog does lose any physical ability that at least the basketball movie's in the can. That's, that's sort of the idea. And what are we doing for posterity? Are we, are we thinking of the next generation? What are we doing there? Well, we're very excited to be with uh, Keystone Entertainment on this production. Uh, we already have plans for a sequel. I think Buddy clearly is able to hang around for a sequel or two, but after the uh, release of this movie, I will start Buddy's line and continue his bloodline. So we'll look for the next batch of Buddies probably in about a year, year and a half. So is he, has he beat the lover boy yet? Well, uh, you know, to tell you the truth, it's so sophisticated now as far as what you can do, it's probably better to go intravenous uh, or intra veto intro. Uh, not to say that he probably wouldn't enjoy doing that, uh, but it's actually a lot safer. Does, yeah. does he have any girlfriends? Is well, down in San Diego, he has quite a few takers. Uh, in our morning runs, he probably has three or four uh, that he has his keen eye on. We're just looking for a good match that would uh, produce a suitable double. And that's probably what it comes down to. We're very excited to continue his bloodline because we think uh, that he is a quality dog. And, uh, and where does he live? Does he live in your house or does he live in the kennel? Where does he oh, no, no. Buddy is not, uh, in fact, although I consider myself an animal trainer, I am more interested in the marketing aspect of, of creating something, refining it, getting it to the big screen and creating a character as an animal trainer. Buddy has never spent time in a kennel. The only time he's in a kennel is when he flies. No, he has a house. We live by the beach. Uh, has, very, very free access. Uh, uh, as far as being confined, it's something that's never played a part in his life. Um, his background is such that when we found him as a stray in the condition he was in, we had no idea that when we had him x-rayed last year, Buddy is covered with buckshot, meaning that Buddy has actually been shot. Um, so, where were we? He was, we're talking about, he was eating. Yeah, well, we're, we're, uh, we're very excited to continue his bloodline and to produce the next batch, but I have so many thousands of hours into his training. The relationship we have is so strong and bonding that I'm very concerned about him not losing his edge. And when you bring another dog into the household, uh, the, the, the primary dog has a chance to maybe lose his competitive edge. And our relationship has been so tight for the last seven years that until he shows uh, the signs of slowing down, I don't think I will start. How do you direct him when you're shooting? Well, we use a variety of uh, different signals, hand signals, verbal signals, as well as when you're blocking, you have a time to set the scene up. The dog is very used to what it is he's doing. Now, primarily, Buddy is a basketball playing dog. He is a sports animal. It's a basketball movie. But he did have to learn quite a few things that he was not accustomed to. Uh, very rarely would we use bait or food as a reward, but to get him to do some things he would not normally do, sometimes it's, a, it's imperative, especially when the uh, time is money and uh, you're trying to make the shot happen as soon as possible. Like, how do you get him to, to, to speak, to walk? Well, you know, speaking is probably one of the easiest commands you can train your animal to do, but uh, as confident as I am in Buddy doing that, you can be in a courtroom scene that has smoke and clouds and bright lights where he can't actually see you, so he can't see or hear uh, the commands for the speak signal. Uh, in that case, you have to be very creative. I think what we'll do in this specific case is probably just do cutaways of the dog, but uh, clearly it's the eye contact you have with him, it's the relationship you have in that he trusts you in whatever you're sending him to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Terrific. If you could just ask me one more question, What's just so we can include in 
how did we get here today? Okay. Because that plays a big part in his right. in his story. Okay. Uh, Rolling? Yep. Okay. So, Kevin, how did you get here today? Well, I have to tell you, honestly, we're very, very happy to be here. Six years of hard work has finally brought us to this location in Vancouver. Um, I uh, got involved about four years ago in writing a treatment for a screenplay based on Buddy, a basketball-playing dog. It took about three years to find a suitable taker, which would be Keystone Entertainment, to want to develop this into a feature film. Uh, produced at the price it will be produced at for the quality that it will bring to the big screen, we're very confident that it will be a successful feature film. Uh, so to be here today completely battles the odds of a, a stray dog coming from the forest, really battling the elements of life to be able to taught, uh, to be able to taught how to play a sport, to refine it, to promote it, and actually to be starring in a feature film. We're absolutely delighted to be here. So today is a big day for us and Keystone Entertainment, and we're just very, very confident that this uh, film could battle the great ones such as Lassie, Benji, Beethoven, and uh, Babe. Well, I don't know about Babe because Buddy doesn't have any speaking roles here, but we're very excited to be here. Okay. Okay. Well, good luck to you. Good. Thank you. Go for it, George. Take one.